Hey guys, it's Radar Mario 21 back here for more Let's Play Ocarina of Time, and yeah, I'm so awesome. I got the feminists even like me, which if you've ever met a militant feminist, that's a huge freaking accomplishment. And this chick is still passed out. That's kind of funny, but now they like me because I'm awesome. So I get free reign of Gerudo Fortress. First things first, I got a mini game I gotta do. That's why I, I have 420 freaking rupees because it could be a bit of a pain in the ass. Right there is something I'll probably do in a bonus episode. That prize isn't 100% necessary, but... What am I saying? It's not even useful. It's just, like, bonus crap. But, what we need to do is go here. I need to call opponent first. Crap. I hear a Pona, I just don't see a Pona. That's really freaking weird. Whatever, I'll just make it over to where I need to be, then I'll try calling a Pona again. Unless a Pona's over here. There's a Pona, but... I need daytime, I think, so. Crap. This is weird. Where's that chick? Oh, come on! I gotta freaking backtrack because I had to make it daytime. Bleg. No, shut up. No, I don't want to try! I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to talk to you. Screw you. Screw your freaking training camp thingy. Do I have to talk to you first? What up? No, don't talk to her again, damn it. Stupid A button. How come whenever I want to talk to someone in this game, I have to, like, line up perfectly to talk to them, but if I want to roll past them, I automatically stop and talk to them, and then they take my 10 bucks, which sucks. But there she is. It's the person I want to talk to. Yeah? Hard. Okay. I can ride a horse, bitch! Blah, 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 blah. Where the hell is Epona? You know, just because I don't have a horse doesn't mean I can't ride one. What, do I have to ride a horse 100% of the time? Opponent, where the hell are you? There you are. Awesome. Because this chick doesn't think I can ride a horse unless I'm actually on a horse. Because, again, psycho feminists. You know, psycho feminists and logic never really go well together. Yeah? Uh, I got it for my fiance, so yeah, there's that. Uh, sure. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this kind of sucks that... I need to get uh, 1,500 points with 20 arrows. Let me try again. I've never done it once. Nice typo game. But, uh, it's just... Archery skills, accuracy is everything. And don't just shoot wild because you got 20 arrows to play with. I might poop that out, but whatever. Nine arrows, 880 points. This, maybe. There we go. Well, I got my prize for 1,000, so hooray for that. Crap! Damn it! 14 freaking 90. Well, I gotta try again. I get a piece of heart. Wahoo. Something arguably more important than a piece of heart for 1500, so that's why I want to get 1500. And of course, I'm off my horse, so now I gotta get back on my horse to freaking talk to the chick. Talk to her! Or no, roll past her. Again, what I was saying earlier. I can't talk to her to save my. She's not even looking at me! 
Alright, I'm probably gonna shut up for this just so I can concentrate. Go 1570, not too bad. Blah 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 blah. I am the ultimate master because I am the man. And yeah, it's a pretty kick ass item. The base quiver. I get to hold 50 arrows. And while I was playing that stupid mini game, you know, I've already told you guys a story that my text tone, my text ring tone is the item jingle from this game. And I have a friend who has this pretty bad habit of just shooting me like three, four texts all within the span of 30 seconds. So now it's just kicking ass, getting 100, 100, 100, 100. It's just reminded me of my friend texting me like three times, four times within a minute. And it's always just stupid crap. Like, it's like, hey, are you going to the bar tonight? I'm going to be there in 20 minutes. I'll see you there. I'm like, dude, give me a chance to freaking respond. But that's a rant for another time, but... Let's talk to this chick. Or not, because you're just completely useless. You're just that chick that likes to stand there up by the gate and do nothing because the actual gate operator is up the damn ladder. Why would it be convenient? I mean, come on, man. But let's talk to this chick. Are you going to let me through? Yeah. But. Okay, what are the two trials? The river of sand, okay. All right. The phantom guide sounds creepy. I have it. Yeah, I am. Cool. Oh, so she actually is a limitless the gate. The other one's just a bitch who has to be all high and mighty and hang up on top of the tower and say, "Ray, open the gate." But whatever. Screw going down the ladder. It's just like Legends of the Hidden Temple. Just freaking fall. So we're making it to the Haunted Wasteland, I believe it's called. Yep, the Haunted Wasteland. It's shifting freaking sandland from Mario 64. Same desert graphics. It's a lot of standing on boxes and long shining yourself from crate to crate. Stay out of that damn quicksand, because you'll just die and... Oh crap, you actually sink into quicksand yourself. It's kind of hard to see. You gotta follow the flags and follow the arrows. I think this arrow is a trap. Yeah, it's just a stupid shop. Screw you, I don't want to buy anything. It's like the internet. They got all these advertisements. They want you to buy, 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 buy. You want to be like, no, screw you. I don't want to buy your crap. Sometimes I get lost here and I end up turning around and going backwards. But, uh, did I make it? It's really tough to see on my TV, but hopefully I did. Yes, I did. The halfway point. Awesome. This little fort, this little sandcastle thingy, let's just call it that. We got Gold Skulltula. 
that I fail at shooting because awesomeness. But blah, blah, blah. Gold Skull Toll Token. Love it. Over here, if you've ever played Zelda, you know what you gotta do. Just dims fire it up and let's get my prize. It's nothing overly important, just something I want because I wasted God knows how many rupees on that stupid freaking archery game. It's a purple rupee, but like I said, I wasted a couple hundred rupees on the stupid archery game, so. Offset the loss a little bit. Can make more rupees also elsewhere. I still got that stupid Pona bottle I gotta sell, and hello, Absolute Darkness. That was pretty cool, I guess. But, uh, time for part two, and if everybody didn't tell you what to freaking do, it's you're gonna need the lens of truth. And of course, like, there we go. Climb up there, Link. So you have to read that tablet, and then we find the ghost. And it's freak it's the ghost of Gruntilda. I mean, who else rhymes like that? And she's right when she says coming back, she won't play. You are pretty much SOL if you need to go back through the haunted wasteland from the next area, I'll just say that. It's pretty obvious what the next area is, and might as well spoil it now, it's the freaking spirit temple. But uh, you have to go from Gerudo Fortress to Spirit Temple, not the other way around. Well, it is mostly just following this stupid witch, this stupid Poe, and not getting hit by levers. I thought I could just go to those flags, but I'm going to make the game happy and just follow this stupid Poe around because why the hell not? These levers aren't terribly obnoxious. At least I. Do I just screw myself over? Damn it! I'm back following Grunty, let's go. Grunty, don't screw me over again, you damn bitch. I swear, come on. Once I see the flags of where to go, I'm just gonna freaking go for it, because I don't care anymore. Screw it. Screw the intended method. I'm just gonna take a shortcut, because I don't want to get hurt again, because every time you freaking get lost in this area, you lose a heart. It sucks. That's why my health is so low, because I kept screwing up. Oh, come on! Oh, thank God, I finally made it through. Holy crap. At least I think I did. Please tell me I did. Oh, thank God. Took me like five freaking tries. I kept getting lost in the damn desert. Talk about a pain in my ass, but here it is, the Desert Colossus, home of the Shadow Temple. There's something I can get here. I think I can get it now. Yep, see these two palm trees? There's a crack in the wall and this lever needs to freaking die, but whatever. Crack in the wall, bomb it. Yeah, come on closer, little lever sons of bitches. Yeah. 
we have the second to last great failure of the game. So hooray for that, and hooray for only one more time, two more times of seeing this creep, this uh, pervy bitch. Wah ha 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 ha! So funny. Why do you get your hand out like that? What, you want like a tip or something? Okay. Magic spell? Yeah, sure, why not? And once again, Spirit Bomb. Hooray for the health refill because I freaking needed it, but Nehru's love, it's like a star man. Gives you brief invincibility, but it consumes your magic like hell. I almost never use it. Blah, 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 blah. I do not want to see you ever again. But we're just about done here. Just a little couple more things to do and we'll be good to go. I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna attack the temple right about now because that sounds like a really good idea. If these freaking levers would leave me alone, that would be great. But for some reason I'm not getting hurt, so hooray for that. Here it is, the spirit temple. We can't do Jack in here, so let's just get the hell out. Screw it, I don't wanna save the kingdom anymore. Uh-oh, I know what this is. Yeah, what the hell are you doing out here in the desert? Did you get lost five times too? I mean, I totally didn't get lost five times. I am cooler than that. I'm not that big of an idiot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're telling me this crap I already know. Yeah, you actually have to do part of this as a child first, the first part of the child, so I gotta work back and become a child and then come back here. This is so I don't have, ever have to deal with a stupid haunted wasteland ever again. Thank you, Sheik. Thank you so much. Perfect rhythm of two, of course, because, yeah, Guitar Hero skills. And what the hell is King Porter Gabor doing here? No, just no. All the no in the world. Oh my god, I learned a Requiem of Spirit. I'm so awesome. And we just stare at each other awkwardly, and Sheik's like, nope, gotta go, bye. I'm like, damn it. But, uh, Ollie back as a kid, so hold, hold on a second. All right, I'm back in the Desert Colossus as a child. I'm not gonna start the Spirit Temple, though, because there's, I have three pieces of heart, and I can get a fourth one super fast. So I might as well just get it and get a 18th heart container before I start the spirit temple, because why the hell not? Hell, given my luck, I'm going to freaking need it. I'm going to be at a boss or something, I'm going to have one less, one heart or less of health and be like, wow, I really needed that 18th heart, but I'll be back as an adult, so hold on. Alright, once again, back at the Desert Colossus as an adult, but I planted that bean, so... Should have a magic plant here, which I do. Hooray for that, because you could probably guess what I'm getting with this magic plant. If this stupid thing would ever do, it has to give me a whole freaking tour. Skulls on my ass, ah, screw it. 
But here it is, heart container number 18. Hell yeah. With that, uh, this is Radar Mario 21 signing out. See you next time. Bye.